So all of our pools have various mechanisms to get the chlorine into the pool. We can use bleach, we can use chlorine sticks, we can use salt, or we can use pulsar pellets. Depending on what pool you're at is depends on what type of system you use. We're going to go ahead and cover the bleach and chlorine sticks right now. All right, so at pools that are using bleach, you're going to see these bleach barrels. Um, you should know already that at, when we get down to 60 gallons, you're going to call it in. I think for the service, it could be a little bit different, 30 to 45. Just make sure you're following your parameters and what your uh, manager or your papers say. So I've got my bleach barrel. Um, all of these are actually empty right now. So I would know I would should have already hopefully called it in. But assuming we have bleach, you'll have um, the bleach line and the bleach barrel. So when I take it out, I see I have the weight, I have the connector, and I have this screen, which will all technically siphon the bleach up through the uh, dolphin feeder. So when I put this down in the bleach, I want to make sure that I put it all the way down and that when I uh, filter it, when there's water, or sorry, when there's bleach in there, it's not just floating to the top. So the weight's all the way down against the connector and the screen, and it goes all the way to the bottom of the bleach. One of the big issues uh, when we don't have bleach getting into our pool but the barrel is full is that it's floated up to the top and you just see that screen outside of the water. Also you notice, and this is a trick that you may not know, if I cut this off and then on, it should start spinning immediately. You notice it was spinning at the beginning of this little clip, it stopped, it's because it's on a 1 right now. Our normal settings are between a 0 0.5 to a 1.5, may vary very very slightly from pool to pool, but around 0.5 to 1.5 is our normal settings. So if I cut it off and then on, I know my um, chlorination is working. But you see this one, I go off and then on, it does not spin. So something is wrong with this electrically or the mechanism itself inside. So again, pretty obvious, we've covered this a lot, I know. But if your barrel is empty and this one is full, I'm going to need to take out this bleach line, shake it a little bit so it doesn't get bleached everywhere, put it in here. Put it all the way down, make sure it's not floating up, and then cap my bleach barrels. Anytime the bleach barrel is not being used, I need to make sure it has a cap. All right, you can use a tennis ball to kind of cover it up, uh, but every bleach barrel should have a cap on it. All right, so if we're having chlorination problems at our pool, we've probably turned up our dolphin feeder to a five, to a seven for the hour, to a 10 for 20 to 30 minutes, and no chlorine is getting in the uh, pool. It's still at a zero to a 0.5. We might have an issue with our dolphin feeder or the line somewhere. So how to check that out, we're gonna do a bubble test. And your manager will ask you this a lot. So to do a bubble test, we're gonna turn it to a 10. I was already wearing my wristband, but if not, grab your yellow wristband because we're using chemicals. Yellow is the chemical wristband. Turn it to a 10. I'm literally gonna lift this line out of the bleach, dip it into the bleach. Out of the bleach, into the bleach, out, and in and as I do this I literally am seeing and I know you can't probably see it on the film I'm seeing bubbles run through this whole system so I'm gonna follow the bubbles all the way up through here I'm gonna follow them on the inside on the return side going out follow them down all the way through the injection pitting that you saw Francesca talk about earlier so during the bubble test if we don't see the bubbles going all the way through and we just see them bouncing that means there's an issue so we need to figure out where the issue is whether it's in the line the line is clogged whether the injection fitting is clogged or whether it's our dolphin feeder itself that's broken so in order to do that go ahead and cut this off i'm going to undo my little clip all right carefully pull down i'm not yanking it all out this came down kind of easy taking this out turning it back to the tin all right so if i don't see anything coming out of this line right here then that means there's a problem with my tubing or my injection fitting. So during the bubble test, if we do not see the bubbles going through the line and out the return, then we have an issue. So what we can do is cut this off, take off this clip, and take it off, you're gonna push up on one side and down on the other, up on one side, down on the other. Take it off, all right? I have it on a tin, be really careful. Um, this is bleach. So I'm gonna cut it on. I notice I see water or I see bleach coming out of this uh, head tube right here. So if I see the bleach flowing down and be really careful where it's landing on, you don't want to keep it flowing like I am. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. As I see this coming out, that means there's no issue with this machine. There's no issue with this head tube. There's an issue with my injection fitting or my tubing further down. If I turn it on and nothing came out, then I have an issue with this. So if the bubble is still bouncing up and down and none of this bleach is coming, this is, we don't see any of this coming out of it, then the issue is with our machine, our chlor dolphin feeder. All right, now for chlorine sticks. 
Uh, this is one of the type of chlorinators. You can have an MA chlorinator or a rainbow chlorinator or a Hayward chlorinator. This is the rain. Uh, this is the rainbow chlorinator right here. Um, you kind of know it's got like the castle tops and the rainbow goes over a castle, right? Anyways, um, before we ever open this up, our system is on. It's off right now for demonstration, but our system is going to be on. You notice this dial right here. It says closed. All right. So just like our dolphin feeder, these all have our, their own natural settings, probably around one, one or two. Um, but right now this is closed. So I'm going to open it up and just let the water flow through. So any chlorine or gas or buildup that's in this is going to go. So I'll come back to this in about five minutes. All right. So my system was on. Uh, I let the water run through on a five for about five minutes to clear out anything in here. I'm now going to open up this top. Place one of my chlorine sticks into this and then close the top back on. All right, make sure this is back to normal setting because I turned it up. Um, make sure you notice I'm wearing a purple glove right now. This is because the chlorine sticks can be kind of irritating. So always we talk about BSI precautions and being safe and smart. We use goggles when we're handling acid or corrosive materials. Um, even working with that dolphin feeder, you probably want to use acid or wear your goggles um, when touching any of the chemicals. All right, another thing to note, we never want to fill it all the way up. When we are cleaning baby pools, we want to make sure we're putting in a chlorine stick every time we're cleaning. So every other day, about um, three to four times a week. If it's all the way full, we don't put it in. Um, if it's almost all the way dissolved, go ahead and put that other stick in. Um, and then your manager and you can work out the exact amount. 